Yeah. Canning, bodybuildingpro.com. We are here at the 2012 Mr. Olympia Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Mutant Booth. I am here with Ronaldo Gary. Ronaldo, uh, I was in Toronto at the Toronto Pro, saw you compete there. I thought you looked great. Uh, you were vascular, although you're always vascular anyway, but you were vascular, you were conditioned. What do you think about your finish of that contest? All right. Um, well, a lot of people may not realize about that show. Obviously, you couldn't because if you saw me, you only saw me on stage. Is that uh, I had peaked in the morning. I woke up um, maybe about 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., and I looked really good, tight, full. Uh, and uh, the thing is, I had a problem eating for the rest of the day. I was eating, but I kept getting drier. Um, but drier in a bad way, in the sense where it was flattening me out. So the time I got on stage, uh, I was flat uh, compared to how I looked in the morning. Um, and the second day, I filled out a little more, but the damage had already been done. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not for anyone else to see because, you know, you weren't there. But basically, if you'd see me in the morning, it'd be like, okay, there, that's your peak. Um, and in contrast uh, to the way I was in, um, in the uh, Connecticut show, uh, we changed our timing up. Um, so basically, the point where you know we stopped drinking the water and trying to dry out, we did it later. Um, so that you know, comparing it to how we did in Toronto, we did it sooner. I peaked sooner and missed what we were looking for later on in the evening, um, as the Toronto show. You know, it started about 7 p.m. and uh, so you know, totally missed our peak with that one. You know, seventh place in Toronto, good, good pro debut. I mean, that was a pro debut for you. Then all of a sudden, fast forward to uh, Hartford, Connecticut, the Europa top five in a pro show. Right. I mean, you don't even have that much experience yet as a pro. As a bodybuilder, yes, but as a pro, no. That must be a little exciting for you to be top five in a pro show right off the bat in a pretty competitive lineup. How do you feel about that? Um, well, you know, they, they had chosen their top four, and the top four is really strong in that show. So and it was a fight for fifth? It was, a, it was, it was yeah, it was the, the, fourth, the first four was pretty solid. Everyone can see it. And uh, it was pretty much who's going to land that top five spot. And you know, I was looking around, there was two guys who I was really concerned with, but um, as soon as... They didn't even bring it. They brought the fourth, first four out, and then they had a couple uh, turns with those guys, and they threw me right into the same bunch. Um, so I was really happy. You know, you, you know, as soon as you're, you step out with the first four, you're in the top five, and you know, you're in that spot where you're going to get a little bit of money, and uh, you're going to get a better look. So yeah, I'm, of course, I'm happy with it. Now, right now, uh, you know, maybe I, it's hard to say exactly, but. You, you still look conditioned. You always are conditioned no matter what your weight. Have you put on any size? It looks to me like you have, but uh, maybe you're just looking pumped today. Maybe you look fuller today. Have you put on some, uh, some, some size, some improvements since the last time I spoke with you at the Arnold? Uh, yeah, I, I put on a little bit of size since uh, you know, the Arnold. I, put, I usually put on most of my size after contests. Um, at this point, actually, I'm a little, my body's a little burnt out. I'm, you know, I'm about to take a rest. Um, so right now, like if you just see me maybe about a month ago, I was actually a little fuller and just about as lean. So uh, yeah, it's just like my body's getting burnt out. I need to take a rest now. I have to keep it going. Obviously, you know, you're coming to Olympia. You want to look a little fancy with yourself. Um, we were doing photo shoots here. You know, we're taking a lot of photos just with our fans. But after this, I'm kind of just going to put the gym away and just, you know, keep my cardio in there and stay, stay somewhat fit. But I'm going to kind of take it back off the heavy weights. You know, not eat so much, kind of keep my protein at a good level, but not so concerned with food, enjoy my life a little bit, rest up, and then bring it hard for the next year, you know? I shouldn't say it's the last time I spoke with you. Uh, I did speak with you in Toronto. With a lot of guys coming in off, I, w I went right away to your vascularity, and I thought, wow, like you're one of the only guys in shape. But uh, you're consistently, yeah, you're consistently in shape. So what's up next for you? Um, not 100%. You know, there's a chance of doing the New York Pro. Toronto, most likely I'll do again. Um, I'm looking for a coach. I'm, I'm not going to say who right now. Um, someone I've already spoken to, it's just that I have to get some things uh, figured out. So when it comes down to, you know, talking with my future coach and figuring out, you know, the best plan of action for the following where we'll, we'll know where we stand in terms of what shows are going to come up. So you have to be pretty optimistic after that top five that you're going to have a chance to eventually compete in the Arnold and the Olympia. Are you thinking that far ahead right now or just show by show? Uh, thinking about that, but uh, probably in 214. I want to get a little more established as a pro. Um, you know, get a better look from the judges again, see how much I can improve my physique from last year into this year, considering I am a pro now. Um, and you know, just, just learning, I'm always learning things. So even dieting for this show, I learned a lot more of how I should be treating my off season. Um, so, you know, I want to just, you know, improve a little more. Even if I qualify for the Olympia next year, I don't think I'll be doing it. Um, you know, and there's a lot of guys who kind of make the same judgment come qualifying for the Olympia, but taking a little more time off just to improve their physique. Because the Olympia is a big show. You want to bring your best. 
you don't want to just do it just cause. You know, you want to do it as a contender. So I want to be in that position before I step on that stage. Which is something, because Evan sent a panties first Olympia this weekend, and people say he came in a bit off. So I guess you want to make sure that you're at your best. Just, that's basically right. it, right? Yeah, I need time to grow. You know, no, I got it. Bigger than me, so. and you're, you're a bit tall for a bodybuilder, too. So, you know, you have a lot of frame to fill out there. So, But uh, any last things to say to the fans watching right now? Any last things to say for the fans? Um, you know, just mutant fans out there, they know what's going on. They know about our products. Uh, you know, that's why we're here. Um, in terms of me, you know what I do on stage, what I bring. I'm always, you know, the shape guy. I'm always trying to bring a prettier physique, not just a mass monster. And obviously there's my posing, you know, I'm really smooth. So uh, I'm more known, you know, throughout Canada for that. And I don't think the international community really knows what's going on. So just keep posted. I got a lot of videos out there already so you kind of get a taste of what I've been doing. And obviously I'm going to keep improving and bring, you know, better package. You know, the routines that everyone knows I deliver. Um, hopefully I get a lot more guest posing opportunities coming up just because of that. I'm an entertainer. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, guys, you heard it from Ronaldo. What I will do once again is post uh, the, the links, the information, so that you can find him on the Internet. And uh, he's looking good. You know, he's looking better than I've seen him last time at this same uh, body weight. And uh, he did really well in Toronto and in Connecticut. So we can expect a lot, uh, a lot from Ronaldo in the future. So here we are at the 2012 Mr. Olympia Expo, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, here with Ronaldo Gary. Thanks, everyone. Thank you again, Ronaldo.